after discussing the literature on the entrepreneurship and entrepreneurial school now this is the time to move on to the third foundation of the school that is visionary leadership concept in entrepreneurial school as i just referred earlier that what distinguishes entrepreneurial school from other schools is its focus on the vision it is believed in the entrepreneurial school that an entrepreneur has got something in his mind and this something in his mind is about what he or she to be in the coming days in the future or where he or she is seeing their business or organization to be in the future so it is the premise of this particular school that entrepreneur when starts a business or starts an organization he already has got something in his mind and he with something in his mind takes the first step and then en route mean on the way he under the light of his vision develops and implements his strategy so the entrepreneurial school is actually standing on the concept of a visionary leader and you know that vn is to choose a direction because vns actually give you the directions so those organizations which do not have the vn they do not have the directions earlier we have talked about this the what is the benefit of having the vn and what is the drawback of going further without a vn the second thing is a vn is a target that beckons mean vn is a target which is giving you the signal that where to proceed and when you have a vn you have the signals always remember that when we say that someone can look into the future always remember that no one can absolutely and clearly look into the future but the one who can get an idea of the future can get the signals the where the world will be moving towards and there is a question to all of you and this is the matter you can think on that what will be the technology in 2050 maybe in the area of automobile sector in the area of medical science just try to guess that how the technology today we are using would be the part of the museum and what would be the technology in the coming 30 40 years so if you can get a signal mean there is a signal that in the coming years artificial intelligence will develop to a level that it will reduce the human intervention in the things mean there would be pilotless cars there would be pilot pilotless aircrafts and there would be doctorless hospitals and clinics so this is going to be the signal for the future by focusing attention on a vision the leader operates on the emotional and spiritual resources of the organization on its values commitment and aspiration this is very important points very very important point scholars actually administrators are more concerned with the material resources of an organization whereas entrepreneurs or the visionary leaders are more concerned with the spiritual side of the organization mean they are more concerned with the emotional and spiritual resources mean those resources i just take one example to make things clear 
I just take example of the Pakistan movement. It is generally argued that only in seven years, the Qaeda's and Muhammad Ali Jannah managed to achieve his vision of a separate homeland for Muslims. This is a great example that a leader building on the emotional and spiritual resources, utilizing them and giving a direction to the whole nation or the whole set of followers for having a vision realized. So, entrepreneurs actually focus on the emotional and spiritual resources through their vision. And they do it through values, commitment and aspirations. And VN, leadership spark and its reflection. Basically, what is VN? It's a spark of leadership. The ability of the leadership to raise the nation, to raise the organization to a certain level. And then reflecting on this particular point to achieve this particular VN. Entrepreneurial strategy formation in a supermarket chain, this is a classical example of an entrepreneurial organization. I just share with you, it's the example of the Canada and it's the example discussed by Henry Mintzberg in his renowned article, Tracking Entrepreneurial Strategy and Tracking Strategy in Entrepreneurial Firm. He believed in that particular example that the entrepreneurs take things totally differently. This is the story of a retail chain which emerged and which successfully worked for 60 years. And as long as the original owner entrepreneur was alive, the chain grew. As soon as he died, the business flopped. So he actually argued the point that in entrepreneurial organizations, the organization is actually the reflection of the entrepreneur. This is another example of a garment firm which believes that the entrepreneurs take their vision and signals en route. En route means during the course of their business, they get an idea that what would be the future and then accordingly they change their things. The last part here is the VNS drama. You all know that what drama is. This is the combination of fiction and life, fiction and reality. So actually, entrepreneur always have a VN fiction and they take it to the organization life and then there becomes a combination and it becomes a drama. A metaphor has been used here because a drama seeks its success on three things, rehearsal, performance and audience. The actually entrepreneur based on his experience gets his vision, then he performs his vision and he gets a support from the organization and its employees. Always remember that a leader is actually made by the followers. So entrepreneurs actually do their vision and implement it as a drama. Thank you very much.